hi welcome back to my channel i'm shauna if you're new and i have a collective haul for you guys so all of this stuff will be listed in my poshmark closet and um it's some of it's from thrift stores some of it's from garage sales i went to one garage sale and i got all of this for three dollars so i ended up paying 75 cents per item the first thing I got were these kids Keens. They're in excellent condition and they are a size four, but yeah, they're this really fun uh, neon green with this blue and Keens are selling really well right now because it's starting to get into that season. Um, I also got these uh, Torrid leggings. They are a size two, which I think is I'm not sure if it's like 2XL, I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to double check before I list these, but there are these black leggings with this really fun embroidery at the cuff. I thought that was really pretty. It's a super fun detail. And then I did also get this Torrid blouse that's the same size, but it's new with tags and it kind of matches the leggings. So I wonder if that was what was the or I wonder if that's what the intention was, but it has like this really fun cutout neckline. Um, yeah, um, originally was thirty six ninety, not a huge retail price, but it's always nice to pick up plus size stuff, and I only paid seventy five cents for that. So, and then I did also get this new tag old navy pair of pants. These are a size 18, so they are plus size. And um, I think they're cargos and they're high rise too. But yeah, they're really, um, they're really nice. And of course, Old Navy isn't gonna sell for a whole lot, but it's plus size and I only paid 75 cents for it. So <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure what these will go for, but um, I will make my money back on these. So this stuff is from a um, thrift store called, I think it's Thrift USA, that or Thrift America. I can never remember which, but I didn't get a lot of stuff there. I wasn't really finding a whole lot until the last section, which is where I found the stuff that I ended up buying. But um, I never go there and I mean, they just don't get very good donations. Um, Thrift America, I, I found it, it says it on their little <laughs> tag, but I paid $4 for this and it's this cut from the cloth leather open front jacket thing. I don't know a good way of like demonstrating the style, but it's really cute. It's gray. Pretty sure it's real leather, but it is a size medium. There is the cut from the cloth tag, if you guys can see it. I don't think this is real leather. It it convinced me, because it's really soft, but nope, it's faux leather. So um, that's good for anyone who doesn't like buying real leather, because it's really soft like real leather. <laughs> so yeah, I thought this piece was pretty nice. Um, I found this Prana sherpa lined vest um i thought this was really nice it was only four dollars and it's a size large and i didn't see any flaws with it which is always amazing um i've never sold prana vests but i think it'll do well um but yeah it's like this purpley color and i also got this ted baker polo shirt um, it is a size six. I paid three dollars for it. I mean, they have amazing prices here, but I went through almost the entire store and this was all I found, with exception of the last item that I'm about to pull out. And these are a pair of Carhartt shorts. So these do have like a rip in the front of them, but I decided to pick them up anyway because it's low enough to wear I don't think people will have issues with that. Um, but yeah, there is the Carhartt patch on the back. These are relaxed fit, size 36. Yeah, I feel like this is perfect for this time of year. And I've heard that people like will still buy damaged Carhartt just because it's 
kind of built for that kind of stuff. So the last bag is from my local Goodwill. So I did get these Dansko ankle booties. I've never picked up Dansko ankle boots. Um, they have like this wooden look to them. Um, they are a size 40 and I paid $6 for these. So I don't know. I'm not sure if they'll sell right now just because it's starting to get warmer outside, but I did literally sell a pair of snow boots today. So I'm not gonna discriminate against seasons. Um, this is just a J. Jill pink t-shirt. Um, I think I bought it because of the material. Uh, yeah, it's 100% Pima cotton, size medium. So, and something like this. I mean, it's a nice basic piece, you know? And people like J. Jill. I paid $4 for it, so we'll see how well it does. This is another J. Jill piece. Um, it's the Love Linen line, size medium. So this is a linen t-shirt. So this I also picked up because of the material. Um, yeah, it's just this green short sleeve linen shirt. And I paid $4 for this one. This is by Soft Surroundings and it's a size medium there is the tag i thought this would be perfect for like fourth of july it just has like the i mean it has the color scheme <laughs> but um yeah it's this really lightweight um i could definitely see through it so you'd have to wear something underneath it but um shirt and it's kind of fun because it has this longer v front to it but then it's shorter in the back i don't know if you guys can tell but I thought that was really interesting. I only paid $4 for it. Yeah, I think it'll do well. This is a Sunday in Brooklyn, size medium. I believe this was Anthropology. It's been a few days since um, I picked up this stuff, but I looked up comps and I'm almost 100% positive it was Anthropology. But it's this velvet uh, tank top. Thought this was really cute. Um, kind of has like a little like oversized look to it. Um, I paid two dollars for it too so I mean that's not terrible. <laughs> and the last item I picked up was this Columbia vest. Um, I'm not sure how Columbia vests do. I know their um, their fleeces are super saturated so I don't I don't pick up their fleeces anymore but yeah it's just this black vest. Um, it's uh, it has Omni heat in it, so it'll keep you warm. I'm assuming that's what all the metallic is. Um, has the Columbia logo on the back of it. I only paid $4 for it, so I feel like it was worth trying it out. Um, it's a size small if I didn't say so already. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see how it does. I'm not gonna expect it to sell overnight though. Um, so I guess this video is a lot shorter than what I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna include another haul in this one. I was gonna separate it, but yeah, this this is like too short. So let me go grab that stuff for you guys. So all of this stuff is going to be from a thrift world that I've never been to before. I decided to check it out. I've heard that it's really good from some of my coworkers at work. So um, let's get into it. <laughs> the first thing that I grabbed are these Lily Pulitzer shorts. Um, I saw these, thought this was a good sign, and indeed it was, <laughs> but I paid $4 for these. They are a size uh, zero. The style is the wall short, three inch inseam. But yeah, I thought these were super cute. I believe the sale tags were orange and green, I think. Um, I know for sure orange but these were a sale tag item. I, I wanna say green was 98 cents and then orange was 50% off. That's what I'm gonna go with. Um, so yeah, these were 50% off. They're American Eagle stretch midi shorts. They're khaki. Um, I think these are older, but with them being 50% off, um, so I would've paid like 250 for these. Size four. Um, honestly, I, I feel like that's worth it, especially since it's a current season item. Uh, if it was winter time, I probably wouldn't have grabbed those. 
Um, so these are a green, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I'm pretty sure green tag was 98 cents because I remember being kind of excited about these somewhat. Um, but these were a green tag, these are American Eagle. They had them priced at $10. That's crazy. Um, yeah, so I paid 98 cents for these and the style is the kick boot. They're a size 10. Um, boot cut and flare I think does pretty well right now. So have like that distressing. Yeah, there is the American Eagle tag right there. So I was definitely excited about the price for this for these. They had a ton of American Eagle. So these are some shorts. I paid 98 cents for these guys. They're just Gap purple shorts. Um, I have no idea if these are gonna do well at all. Um, I just kind of was, I saw the price and I was like, you know what, we'll, we'll do these and hopefully they'll stop. Uh, Gap, size small. I don't know, maybe they'll look a lot better when I steam them because they are super, super wrinkled and stuff. We have another pair of shorts that I got for 98 cents. Um, these are White House Black Market shorts. I don't usually pick up that brand because I feel like I never sell it whenever I get it. But since they were 98 cents, I'm willing to try it out. They are a size four. There is the White House Black Market tag. I don't know. There's no stains on them, which I found very surprising, so. If you couldn't tell, I got a lot of shorts. Um, these are another pair of American Eagle shorts. Um, I got these for 50% off. They had them marked at $6.98, so I paid about $3.50 for these. Um, they're really cute. Light wash, um, American Eagle Super Stretch. The style is shorty. There is the tag. I think these are a newer style. Um, these are by Lucky Brand. I did get these for 50% off. So they had them priced at $4.98, which means I paid $2.50 for them. Um, these are a size 0, 25, so not the best size. They are a lot smaller, but there are small people out there. Um, a lot smaller than me because I could never fit into <laughs> size zero. But um, yeah, so I think they'll do well. They have distressing. I found J Brand. Um, I'm pretty sure J Brand does really well, but I don't know. I never find it. So these I paid full price for. They were marked at $4.98. The J Brand logo is right there. They're just a pair of, I think, I think they're black. I, when I bought them, I thought they were dark wash, but I think they're just black. I don't know, but they're skinny jeans. Um, these are super small. Um, they're the pencil leg. Yes, these are black. Um, size 25, so yeah, super small. So hopefully they do well, um, especially with it being my first time finding J Brand. <laughs> this is vintage dead stock, so it has like the tags and stuff. Um, these I paid full price for. They were $4.98 by Pineapple Moon. I don't know if you guys will see the tag, but um, it's a poncho. Pineapple Moon, Hon Honolulu, Hawaii. Ha um, I guess there's six ways to wear it, but yeah, it's just this floral poncho. So I thought this was so unique and it's like, with it being one size, that's awesome. So I'm definitely excited to get that listed, especially with it being warm out, at least here. Um, these I got for 50% off. They were marked at $6.98, so I paid $3.50. They are a pair of American Eagle jeans. I believe the style is the artist, which I've heard that that style doesn't do as well. And of course I heard that after I bought these, <laughs> but they're a size four. Yeah, so hopefully they'll sell fairly quickly, but I don't know if they will, but that's fine. It's okay. These I bought purely based off of the tropical theme. I thought these were so fun. I did pay full price, which was $4.98, and they're just uh, J. Crew factory shorts, size small. So nothing super like, amazing 
Um, so I'm not sure what they'll sell for, but I don't know, that pattern is just so cute. This, I thought, was the cutest thing ever. I bought it purely based off of style, but it's a pair of daisy overalls. Like, look at how cute these are. They're a bigger size, they have distressing. Um, I, I'm pretty positive the brand wasn't anything amazing. Um, Miss Look, size 3XL. I paid $6.98 for these, so that was full price. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Miss Look isn't um, anything spectacular, but the style will, will sell this piece. So the last two items are gonna be shoes. Um, these are Jack Rogers Star uh, Loafer Flats. Um, they're gray, they have like this metallic star detail. Uh, there is the Jack Rogers logo in there. Um, I paid 98 cents for these. They were a green tag. Um, but I'm excited about these because I've only sold Jack Rogers like once before. And I'm pretty sure, I can't remember how much it sold for, but it was like a pair of uh, wedding sandals that sold for over 50. It was a decent chunk of money. Um, so it seems like Jack Rogers is a really good brand. Um, I looked up comps and um, I'm not sure what exactly to expect, but I paid 98 cents for them. So anything, I'll make my money back. Like I'm, I'm pretty positive. These are amazing. Um, I kind of want to look up comps again just to make sure that these are as, as as amazing as I think they are. But when I looked up comps in the store, they were pretty phenomenal. But they are the snakeskin uh, heels. They have like this um, Mary Jane weird rappy, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what to call that, but really fun. Um, the brand is Fortress of Inca, handmade in Peru. So there is that little tag. I paid $4.98 for these. And they, I believe, are real leather. Sorry, I'm, uh, yes, they are real leather. I'm trying to find the size. I'll try them on because that's about my size. So if they're really tight on me, they're probably a size seven. Um, but at least it's close enough to where I can figure out like the sizing but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like comment down below what your favorite item was and let me know uh what kind of videos you guys would like to see i want to start doing some different ones other th other than haul videos like maybe shoe cleaning stuff like that i feel like i've said that like a million times but i haven't done anything yet so yeah, just let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content like this and hit that little bell notification if you want to be notified of whenever I post videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!